fucking baby. What's good, London? Ah, oh, shit, that was a flight, okay. What's good, London? Today we're highlighting Regent's Canal. We're gonna be showing you some of our favorite spots in between King's Cross and Hex. Let's hit it! Regent's Canal runs from west to east and connects some of the coolest parts of the city. Being just north of London and running almost 14 kilometers long, the canal is a perfect place to hit up on a sunny day. Go here for a walk, a jog, drink some beers, or eat some dope ass food. We're gonna show you some of our main pieces between King's Cross and Hackney Wick. All of these joints are definitely what's good. First up is King's Cross. Fun fact, King's Cross used to be a red light district, okay, but since the late 90s, this area has become a cultural melting pot and a super rad place to hang out. Caravan and King's Cross roast some ridiculously good coffee. They also have a banging food menu too. Start here by grabbing a quick cup of coffee, you're gonna need it for the rest of the day. Like we always say, it's never too early for a cheeky pint because you in London fam! Stop off at the narrow boat to crush some beers. Really nice English pub right next to the canal. Comfy chairs, good beer, what else can you ask for? The thing I love about this pub, the narrow boat, is how it's literally quintessential English, British, everything in here. Food is everything, everything quintessential English. And I love it, love it, love it, love it, love it! How much it would cost to like rent one of those? They're for hot. I mean, they can't be that much. London is a brunch city. There are tons of good brunch spots, and the Barge House has to be one of our favorites. One Bloody Mary. That's for me. Can we do mimosas? I remember my first drink. Mad spicy. It's got Tabasco sauce inside it with the chili flakes on the side and chili flakes inside. My mouth is watering. <laughs> Jensen, describe the region's canal life. It's chill, you don't feel like you're in the city. Good vibes, good cafes, good bars, uh, interesting people. Sounds like a deal to me. That's what's up. Oh, there you go. You're a legend. You are a legend. Yes, yes. Thank you so much. It Thank looks you. delicious. Slow roasted tomatoes, spinach, leeks, oyster mushrooms, avocado, asparagus, topped with free range egg and sprinkled with cheese. Oh man, that's so good. Cheese, herbs, some bacon. This is a problem. This is a problem. This shouldn't be allowed. This shouldn't be allowed. I don't even know how to cut this, bad boy. So there's two ways. So you can either scoop it or you can cut it. But I recommend scooping first. Did you, you went scoop method. Look at that. And you went for the cut method. Yeah, it's better because you can see the inside. Ah, uh, I'm gonna go. Scoop or cut. Alright, alright. Now don't be stupid here, just order the breakfast and bread with the house infused Bloody Mary because that's their signature dish and it is delicious! Taking a quick pit stop along the Regents Canal, the reason we wanted to stop here is to re-highlight one of our favorite markets in all of London which starts right there, Broadway Market. What's good, London? If you don't know what Broadway Market is, click this little eye in this little corner here and watch that video because that market is lit. All right, we're approaching Vicky Park, Victoria Park. Oh, this is so rad. I love Victoria Park or Vicky Park, I like to call it. It's right next to the Regent's Canal. It's a great place to come in the summer if you want to run, if you want to cycle. I used to actually run along the canal with my girlfriend Jazzy, pack a little bag. We used to run all the way here and just camp out and have a little picnic after our run. Okay. Water, it's all good. Vicky Park is also home to a lot of cool summer festivals. Just a couple days ago, we went to Field Day and saw Skepta perform. <laughs> You ruined my motherfucker night case! Alright, alright, alright! Party crew! You can 
can actually rent these out and go ham with all your friends. At a cost of only 60 pounds for a half day rental, that's exactly what we did. We have now made it to Hackney Wick to our last stop, Crate Brewery. It's a slick little spot right on the canal that has tons of outdoor seating. Here you can crush some beers and pizza surrounded by a super hyped crowd. It's a great place to end your day. Challenge time. Oh, it's never done a challenge it's in a been long, a long time. time. The person who can eat a slice of pizza fastest can pick and choose an outfit for the other person for next episode. You down? Hell yeah! We haven't done a challenge in a long time. I'm definitely in. Ready? Ready? Set? Go. go. Oh, honestly. My mouth is on fire. Oh, oh my god. Oh. No. 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 Not again. Not again. Don't leave me hanging. Not again. But I did not expect that pizza to be that hard. Fuck! <laughs> Fuck! Alright people, that's it. Regent's Canal is definitely what's good! <laughs> I'm fucking tired. I'm going home. Me too. Shortage East London. It's hipster central and undoubtedly one of the most urban, fashionable and hyped areas in the city.